Peace be upon you everyone, hello and welcome. I am Abdul Qadir, a telecommunication computer and networking engineer. I am so happy to introduce to you a series about GSM systems. In this episode, we will discuss overall concepts about the GSM system. So let's start right now. The GSM features. GSM is a global system for mobile communications. The European Telecommunication Standards Institute, ETSI, a successful worldwide network since 90s and still operating today, a second generation full digital network traffic and signaling replaced the first generation analog cellular networks, a public wireless network provides voice and data services. The main motivation for evolution is to increase data rates. GSM evolved over time and introduced new technologies like high-speed circuit switched data providing throughput of 57.6 kilobit per second, also evolved into general packet radio services and adopting packet switching technology GBRS, also known as 2.5G, providing 115 kilobit per second, then evolved into enhanced data rates for global evolution by modification in frequency modulation edge technology also known as 2.75 generation with throughput reaching 384 kilobit per second. The GSM depends on TDMA as radio access technology, time division multiple access by dividing the carrier into eight time slots and assign one time slot for one user in the full rate so that the carrier bandwidth is shared among different subscribers in the same time. GSM depends on frequency division duplexing for duplex communication by providing bare channel of 200 kHz for uplink and downlink. The lower range is for uplink and direction from mobile station to the BTS and upper range is for downlink signal direction from BTS to mobile station with duplex spacing between these two ranges. The GSM network depends mainly on circuit switching as switching method between components with data rate 12 kilobit per second per time slot. Later on, packet switching is introduced by evolving into the GBRS and adding two main nodes, SGSN and GGSN, to the architecture of the GSM system. GSM supports interoperability with other networks public switched telephone network and integrated services digital networks of the fixed lines. The main element responsible to adapt signals between these two networks is GMSC. The system also supports connectivity with the internet and public data network through GGSN introduced in 2.5 generation or the GBRS. The GSM frequency bands, we have GSM 900, GSM 900 extension band, GSM 1800 and GSM 1900. The main difference is the bandwidth range for each band which allow differences in the number of carriers can be deployed practically depending on the wavelengths either for short or long distance. As an example GSM 900 bands the uplink range between 890 till 915, the downlink between 935 to 960, so the duplex spacing is 45 and the bandwidth range is 25 MHz. This allow 125 available carriers with bandwidth of 200 kHz for each and the first carrier is reserved for guard band. The GSM architecture. There are four main subsystems in GSM system, the mobile station, base station subsystem, network switching subsystem, and operation support subsystem. Each subsystem has its own components with interfaces between these components. Though the GSM system has standardized interfaces between system components, as an example, we have UM, for the air interface between mobile station and the BTS, we have ABIS between BTS and BSC, we have A interface between BSC, mobile switching center, or the MSC. Each of these interfaces has its own protocols and technologies to support functionality and transferring data between system entities. That's for this episode. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching.